Hello, how you doing? Have you heard the term human in the loop in the context of agentic workflows? And you're not quite sure you know exactly how this works. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So before we talk about human in the loop agentic systems, let's first define agentic systems. Agentic systems are LM driven workflows where autonomous agents handle multi-step tasks and make decisions. These agents can take in inputs, reason through actions, and coordinate outputs across tools or APIs. In simple terms, agentic systems are like digital workers that can operate on their own, but sometimes they need human help. So now let's define human in the loop agents. A human in the loop agentic system injects human oversight at specific points in an otherwise automated process. This could involve approvals, overrides, or guidance when an agent hits uncertainty, risk, or ambiguity. Think of it like cruise control, where the agentic system is steering, but with you always there, ready to take over if required. So when should you loop the human in? Well, human loop systems use thresholds like low confidence scores or risk assessments to trigger human review. Agents can escalate high risk decisions such as financial transactions or medical diagnoses before acting. It's like saying, hey, I'm not 100% sure, but I can get a human to double check before I move forward. So what are some example use cases? Well, in legal tech, contract review agents flag risky clauses, but lawyers decide whether to accept or revise them. In healthcare, human in the loop agentic systems can assist reading x-rays, but radiologists must approve the diagnosis. Another highly common and critical use case is content moderation and review. So what are some of the challenges for this use case? Well, the first is volume. The sheer volume of user-generated content, customer interactions, or internal documents can be overwhelming for purely human review. The second is speed. Real-time moderation is often required, especially for live platforms. The third is nuance and context. Distinguishing between genuine threats, satire, or complex context-dependent language is incredibly difficult for LLMs alone. The fourth is evolving standards. What's considered acceptable content can change rapidly, requiring adaptability. And the fifth is accountability. Mistakes can have serious consequences, for example, legal issues, brand damage, or harm to user. So let's look at a system diagram for more detail on this use case. First, raw data is ingested into the workflow. Examples of this data are posts or user comments. Next, the data is cleaned and normalized. This includes converting some content into a format suitable for LM processing. Examples of this are transcribing audio or extracting text from images. Next, a filtering agent processes the content. This LM-based filtering agent is used to rapidly classify incoming content based on predefined categories. Examples of these categories could include spam, threat, safe, or needs review. This filtering agent can also extract keyword entities, sentiments, or potentially problematic keywords. Crucially, the agent is configured with a confidence threshold. If its confidence in a classification is below a certain percentage, 85%, for example, or if it flags content as uncertain, the content is automatically routed to a human review queue. In cases of high confidence, where the content is categorized as safe, the agent executes an auto approval for the content. For content with low risk, for example, content categorized as spam, the agent can take immediate delete action. This automated processing provides significant speed. 
Otherwise, the content is routed to a human. Content flagged as high risk or uncertain by the filtering agent is prioritized in the human review queue. To increase throughput, the system can incorporate load balancing to help distribute tasks efficiently among available human reviewers. As humans review the content in their queues, they execute actions on the content, such as publishing, deleting, sending warnings, or escalating to a legal team. So you can see in this example use case, the benefits of LLMs and humans working together. Human in the loop agentic systems give the benefits of speed while ensuring critical decisions are vetted by human experts. Human in the loop systems provide a safety net, ensuring machines don't make final calls on things they don't fully understand. In plain English, human in the loop is how we combine LM speed with human wisdom, especially when lives, laws, or livelihoods are on the line. Okay, so let me know what you think of human in the loop. Do you think you might implement this technique in any of your LM-driven systems? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I wanna hear what you think about this topic. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other business playlists are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I want to hear about this also. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.